the BBC is much more connected to uh, the British state, to elite interests in British society, um, than, uh, th than the public, essentially. And that, that's the broad argument of the book. Um, the other element of the book is, is how, exploring how the BBC changed as British society changed. Pockets of critical journalism, particularly investigative reporting, um, sort of socially conscious news and current affairs, did start to develop under the influence of 60s culture, particularly in the 1970s and 1980s. A lot of that was heavily criticised by the Thatcher government, and a lot of it was rolled back pro progressively um, in the late 80s and early 90s, something which was signalled by the, the departure of Alastair Milne, who was Director General, basically. Uh, and uh, it, it marked the beginning of a, of a shift where editorial policy became much more centralised, much more controlled, um, and um, the BBC became much more risk averse. So the BBC became much, much more um, pro-business. There's quite an explicit change that takes place that was driven by um, pro uh, business oriented leadership. First of all, um, John Burr and, and then Red Dyke. John Burr, who um, was Director General of the BBC during the 1990s, was a neoliberal in, I mean, the narrowest sense of the word. I mean, this isn't really acknowledged in any of the literature, but he used to spend time at the Institute for Economic Affairs, which was like, for those who don't know, it was kind of the seminal Thatcherite neoliberal um, think tank. He was very close to a guy called Peter Jay, who was an uh, economics editor at the Times, who was very influential in, in disseminating monetarist thinking in the 1970s. He wrote parts of Callaghan's speech about not being able to spend your way out of a crisis. He introduced um, an internal market, the BBC, which was on, modelled on the NHS. And, and what the initiative of the 1990s, which was very much in the spirit at the time, was about dividing the BBC into buying and selling, buyers and sellers, right? So the, the BBC would have to, if you were working at the BBC, you have to sell your content to someone else at the BBC and you trade with each other as part of a, the much wider neoliberal form of, um, uh, of public service. And the reason I mention that is that uh, it... it it, it fundamentally transformed the culture of the BBC. It became, it became much more entrepreneurial, as they like to say, but much more business orientated, much more orientated towards um, costs, and much more integrated into the capitalist marketplace. The exception to that is, um, is news and current affairs, and um, in, in this area, uh, I mean, there have been cuts and so on, but in any case, uh, a lot of the reporting, as I'm sure we're all familiar, um, has been done by people from, drawn from you know, the upper middle class, um, elite strata, mainly Oxford, Cambridge, privately educated people. Um, this again was part of the shift that took place um, uh, under John Burr in the, in the 1990s. Um, a, a very, very elitist reporting patterns.